Hey, Phil Montero from the AnywhereOffice.com, and I would just like to thank Chris uh, for allowing me to make this this uh, little guest blog post and video for uh, his excellent blog, VirtualBusinessLifestyle.com. Uh, and when Chris and I first met, we actually connected through Twitter, um, and after talking a little bit, we found that we shared a passion for a flexible lifestyle and being able to work outside the traditional office. And I saw his mission to be a virtual CEO and. Uh, and I think that's great. And one of the things he wanted me to talk a little bit about today was cloud computing, uh, because it's something that he said he himself was getting more into. And I think that uh, you hear that term tossed around quite a bit these days, and some people might not be sure exactly what it is or how you can take advantage of it. So I'd just like to speak a little bit about uh, you know what cloud computing is and how you can use it to enhance your virtual business lifestyle. Uh, and basically, cloud computing really just means moving your data or some of the typical programs and services that you use to the internet or the cloud, as they would they would call it. So, if you're using Gmail or an online calendar um, or online document storage, essentially you are using cloud computing, uh, and that's what you're doing. And there's no shortage of services these days. Um, that will allow you to move some of the things you do into the cloud. Uh, you can be doing online accounting, you can have meetings and conferences, shared documents, um, as I mentioned, you know, calendars, uh, your, your email, there, there's a number of things that you can be doing online that will free yourself or unchain yourself from the office. And that's, that's really what it comes down to, is having the flexibility to being able to work where and when you want. Uh, I myself, you know, started using a laptop so I could be more portable. But a lot of the data I used, and and I used Outlook at the time, so my contacts and my email, and my calendar were still really all tied to that one physical machine. So if I didn't have that machine with me, then essentially at the time I didn't have the ability to to gain access to the documents or information that I needed. Um, so what I what I did, which uh, I did about a year or so ago, I, I made kind of a shift, and I moved, separated myself from Outlook, and moved all of my mail, my calendar, my contacts, my to-dos into the cloud. I started using the the Google um, applications for that, and you know it took a little adjustment at first because I was so used to having that stuff on my machine, but I, I can't tell you what a difference it's made in freeing me to be able to to work. Uh, from multiple locations. Now when I travel, I don't always have to take my laptop. I can bring my iPod Touch. I can use somebody else's computer if I'm at a client site or if I'm visiting family or friends. Uh, if I'm at my brother's house, I just pop onto his computer and I have access to my email and my contacts and all of that information. Um, I'm starting to use Google Docs more, which uh, if you're not familiar with that, Google has um, uh, programs that allow you to basically use uh, similar programs to Word and Excel and uh, PowerPoint and store those documents online. So uh, making the shift to cloud computing is is something that you need to, to basically just take a look at some of the the typical programs or tasks that you use now and then take a look at the, the technology that's available and find which tool set might work best for you. A lot of these services are free or if they do cost money they are usually fairly low cost and will allow you to grow if you have a business with multiple employees or you work with a team that you collaborate you can often start small with these things and then expand upon them as you go. Uh, one thing I would urge you to look at um, wh when you're thinking about moving your data or your applications uh, into the cloud is as far as the ability to back up or access that information if you don't have internet access. And that was one of my concerns at first. Uh, and one of the things I love about the, the Google programs I use is they have something called Google Gears. Uh, and that allows you to install that onto your machine and it actually synchronizes your data, your calendar, your mail onto your machine so that if you lose internet access or you don't have internet access but you're at your computer you can still gain uh, gain access to that information so again if you know let's say you had your your laptop on a plane and you were flying you might say hey cloud computing great but how am I going to access my email uh, or my calendar when I'm when I don't have internet access well that's one way to deal with that um, cloud computing also comes into into play when it comes to doing backups and I urge you if you're not already backing up your data that's something you really want to think about and, I've been testing a few services lately, and, and uh, the one that I've kind of uh, settled on uh, is called um, CrashPlan, CrashPlan.com. And it allows you for a small monthly fee to back up all of your data from your computer 
online. So again, it's, a lot of you may be doing backups to your your uh, an external USB drive or, or CDs or something like that, but that data still resides in your office or in your physical location, um, and you really want to be protected to make sure that you have some kind of offsite backup. So again, cloud computing comes to play here with online off-site backup, so you want to explore some of those services as well. So uh, if, you, if you're not doing it, I, I think you, you might want to start with one or two uh, programs, but I think you'll find that the more things that you can move away from your computer uh, and, and start using them online, as long as it's secure and you have a way to access that information and you trust the company, then I think you'll find that it allows you to have a much more flexible lifestyle and really work from anywhere. I mean, you've seen the, the uh, you know, a lot of the videos Chris posts, he's in a jacuzzi or a spa drinking his drinks at, uh, you know, happy hour or he's, you know, chilling out on the beach somewhere. And I mean, that's really what it's all about. If you can integrate work and life the way, the way he does. Um, you know, work-life balance can be challenging sometimes. You can't always separate it. A lot of times it has to do with integrating it. And by being able to access your documents and your important information online, regardless of where you are, um, that really helps you do that and expand. And that's, that's kind of what we talk about on the AnywhereOffice.com. So, uh, again, thanks, Chris, and I hope you'll come by the AnywhereOffice.com. We, we're always talking about tools and different strategies and techniques to allow you to expand outside the office. So I uh, hope to see you there soon. Thanks again.